Hey gang, Casual Minfinity here. Today marks the end of Minfinity Month Week 1. It's been a success so far, and I thought I'd end it off with a nice, chill, laid-back video for you guys. Today I'm gonna tell you a story, and it's a bit of a long story, so uh, strap in and enjoy the ride. Or you can skip this video and come back tomorrow. Tomorrow's video is garbage. Come back Friday, come back Friday. A few weeks ago, I learned a very expensive lesson. It all began this past January, when I got a letter in the mail saying I had two months to get my annual emissions inspection for my car. You know what? Scratch that. It started a year ago, July 2020. My car hydroplanes into a guardrail, smashing my front headlight, and causing severe interior damage that would take me a while to find out about. The headlight was an easy fix. It only cost me $200 and my dignity to a scammer in an Ikea parking lot. And when the headlight fell out on the drive home from that Ikea parking lot, well, then it cost me $60 to buy replacements. But none of that's relevant to today's story. Because today's story is about karma. Karma with a C. You see, there was one major problem that started to occur after the accident, and that is that, um, how do I put this? My car would start shutting down in the middle of the road. It didn't happen too often, and by the time fall rolled around, it kind of stopped happening altogether, so I kind of wrote it off as a one-time thing. Until this past March, that is. As the weather started to get warmer, it was like my car started getting PTSD flashbacks to the summer when she ran face first into a guardrail. At least, that's what I can only assume is the reason that she started shutting down in the middle of the road all over again. As these shutdowns started getting more severe and more frequent, I decided it was time to take her into the shop. So, my dad recommends that I go to a place that he went to when he was younger, and these guys are supposed to be, you know, they're supposed to be the real deal. They're supposed to give you the good prices. And you know, maybe they did. Maybe they didn't. That'll be for you to decide. So anyways, according to the internet, the main problem behind um, my car shutting down in the middle of the road was probably a busted fuel sensor. So I call this auto shop and I'm like, hey, my car's shutting down in the middle of the road. Maybe check out the fuel sensor. So I take my car to the auto shop. They tell me, there's no way to know that your fuel sensor's broken and it would cost you a whopping $400 to replace, and you don't wanna pay that money. So instead, here's a better offer. We noticed that um, the inside of your engine is kinda dirty. We can clean that out for you for a sweet deal of only $400, and that'll solve all your problems. I'll take it! Bam! Just like that. So I get my car back from the auto shop, and guess what happens on the drive home? It shuts down in the middle of the road. Bam! Just like that. So, I take it back to the auto shop. I say, hey, my car's still not working. Maybe check out that fuel sensor I was talking about. They're like, well, there's no way to know whether your fuel sensor's broken or not, and it would cost you a whopping $400. So, instead, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna fix the computer inside your car, because that seems to be broken. And that'll only cost you a small price of $1,000. So... That's what we're gonna do instead. Sweet, I'll take it! So I get my car back. Turns out the computer thing did kind of fix the problem. My car's running smoothly. It's all going good. Remember earlier when I said I got a letter in the mail? Because I didn't. Until a few weeks ago when I pass a sign on the side of the road that says, emissions testing to the left. And I'm like, oh, didn't I get a letter in the mail saying I needed to do one of those things? How long ago was that? That couldn't have been that long ago, right? So I dig up the letter and Lo and behold, it says you March 3rd, 2021. Oh snap, that was four months ago. That couldn't have been that long ago, right? So I reluctantly go get my emissions tested, have to pay a $70 late fee, and you'll never believe what happened next. I failed. I failed the emissions test. And you want to know why I failed? You want to know why I failed? Printed on the paper that a machine printed out from reading the diagnostics of my car, it said, in big bold letters, fuel sensor needs to be replaced. I got a busted fuel sensor. Who would have thought? Not me. Certainly not those mechanics. There's no way to know. There's no way to know. How come the machine? Anyway, alas, this is karma. If I had gotten this admissions test when I was supposed to before March 3rd, I would have known about the fuel sensor long before my car started shutting down in the middle of the road all over again. The lesson here, if you get a notice or a bill in the mail, take care of it as soon as you can, or at least try not to lose it. And remember, life is full of irony, so when you find yourself at the butt of one of the universe's jokes, just laugh along with it. It's all you can do. See you on the other side. To infinity and beyond!